Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. In this video, we are going to be solving this lead code problem called valid parentheses. So here we are given a string uh, that contains these kinds of braces. So parentheses, curly braces and square braces. So we have to determine if the string is valid. So in the example one, you can see s equals uh, open parenthesis and close parenthesis, so which is true. And in the second uh, input, we can see again open parenthesis, close parenthesis, uh, open square braces, and closed square braces and curly open curly braces and closed curly braces so hence the output is true and in the third example you can see we have open parenthesis whereas after that we have closed square bra bracket so that's why it's false and in the fourth input uh, we have balanced because we have open parenthesis then open square and we are closing the square first and then we are closing the uh, closed parenthesis so that's why it's true and here it's false because the ordering is is not proper right so that's why it's false so let's see how we can solve this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a hash map so let's call this um mapper something like this and we will map curly brace with open curly brace with closed curly brace and then square to closed square and then open parenthesis to closed parenthesis okay and after this what i will do is i'll take a stack we will use it later so now we will iterate through this s string so let's do that so for i'll just call para, para in s if para in mapper if it's the opening then what we will do is we'll just uh, put it in the stack so let's do that stack dot append we'll put this para in it else we have closing one okay so we have certain cases here so first we will see we'll check whether the stack is not empty and para should match with whatever is at the top of the stack and it should be opening okay so in the else case we have closing uh, closing uh, bracket right so we have to check that compensates with the opening one so what we will do is we'll take stack of minus one which gives us the value which is at the top of the stack and we will check of that mapper so if these two are equal then we can pop that parenthesis from the stack so stack dot pop all right in the else case they don't match we can straight away return false and finally what we can do is we can return stack whether this is empty or not if this is empty then uh, the given input is balanced otherwise it's not okay so let's run this here we can see it has been accepted let's submit this and it's accepted as well so the time and space complexity so time complexity is o of n and the space complexity is we are using a stack and mapper this is a constant space but uh, this will change according to uh, the iteration so yeah even space is o of n that's about it thank you 